Number Virginia seven. is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. It's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws it in a hurry, and he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That'll make it 39. from their own 37-yard line. Third down. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy! Lucky 94! And they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Fielded at the 19. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Good job by the defense to force a punt on the first series. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Four down, four down. 34's the mic, 34's the mic. He's coming. Check him, check him. Yellow nine. Kill, kill. Raider, Raider. And he has it on the corner. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The halfback goes forward for about five yards there, and that gets him the first. Pretty good run here. The tailback got the ball in the pitch out and did a nice job of following his blocker. Was able to pick up the first down. Gives it to the back, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. Let's go, hey. Go on, Mike, Mike 34. Mike 34. And down he goes around the 46 yard line. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. If you're the defense coordinator, you've got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive linemen. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman that tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Drill at the 29-yard line. 
loss of three yards on the play. Third down. What are you doing? This is the eighth play of this drive. Throw. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. They're going to try a long field goal here. Virginia could take the lead with this field goal. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! <laughs> looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Virginia's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Possession there for the defense. It's away and it's a booming punt. And he's taken down at the 38. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Virginia is up by three. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 39. 34 is the fight. 34 is the fight. He'll get the call again. Gets out to around the 48. for a good game. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 3-0, Cavalier. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Little handoff. Runs outside for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Set, set. He's at the 30. Tackle made around the 26 yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Game. 
It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Virginia is up a field goal. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll make it second. It's second and seven. Ball on the ten. Runs right for a nice game. And this is the 10th play of the drive. That'll bring up third and two. Watch two, watch two. 34 is the mic. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled at the one. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. They'll knock him down for a loss. This is the 12th play of this drive. Taken down in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That, that makes, makes it 30 goal. goal. It's third and goal from the two, and they're trying to make this a two possession ball game. Touchdown, Cavs! He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 13-play, 61-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. That's a game of 15. First down. Right around the 34. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and 10. Zips it to the back. Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The running back gets the first. You like how the offense is playing intelligent, controlled football. Here, using the safe run to get the first. Pass complete and taken down immediately. 
That brings him second and nine. And this play is number eight on the drive. He lateral. So he gets maybe a yard on the option. Game of one on the play. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Hey, watch the left, watch the left. Here we go. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Lock in. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Boston College, the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Virginia is up by a touchdown. He's out of bounds at the 27. Game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. That makes it third and three. He lost the ball. They fall in it. Boston College has called their final timeout. Booming kick. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. The Eagles struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game. And sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like a, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line. Get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play. One touch to get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find the way to get him involved. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go to guy. Down to the 37 yard line. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Lucky 95. First down. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. Virginia's lead is a touchdown. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The first half pretty much devoid of big offensive plays. It's not really what we expected to see with these two teams, both capable of getting yards and chunks of scoring very quickly. So when you have playmakers who are bottled up for an entire half, What's the frustration level like for them? Oh, it starts to get high. And as a defense, you love it. You sense it. it, it, it you feed off of it because well, you, think about it. You got running backs that are used to making one guy miss, two guys miss, take it to the house. Well, now you're making one guy miss, two guys miss, and you got, wait, a third guy's coming in? I mean, they're tackling so well. You're used to receivers being able to go up over DBs and make big plays, and you got DBs hanging with you and, and batting the ball down. And so it, it's just, it puts you in a situation where you're like, wait, this isn't supposed to happen. A little bit of doubt creeps in because usually you're just going up and down the field, nobody's stopping you. And you, so in your mind, you think, I'm invincible. I'm not, I'm not capable of being stopped. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Virginia is up a score. Makes the catch, and look out. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Nice run there. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really nice read. throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. It's second and six. Ball on their own 43. First and ten. Ball on the 40. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up second and three. Virginia is up seven. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 29. First and 10, ball on the 29. He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. the eighth play of this drive. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. They bring him down in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll make it third and 13. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Let's go, eight. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 17-3. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's good for the game. That makes so it it's second, second down and about two yards to go. He has some room. Makes it to the 47. 
Gain of 20 on the play. That makes it first and 10. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good that job here by the defense to slow him down. It's second and eight. Ball on the 45-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Makes the first down catch. That's a great tackle at the 35. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He tackles him for a loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 36. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's the junior corner. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. From their own 20-yard line. First down. One-yard gain by the halfback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 26. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. They're about four yards away here on third down. That's three down and one to go. Virginia's in front by 14. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Three down, three down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. New seven. Man, did they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They've got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. Fourth down. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. It was a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. Second and seven. Ball on their own 45. Watch the run. 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 Watch the
Complete. He's got room. He's tackled at the 43. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. Ready! Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Call it a gain of one more. That brings up second and nine. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Let's go! And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He goes out of bounds around the 35-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They run for the first, and they don't get it. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Play action. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And they push him out right around the 46-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. That makes it third and three. another carry and they make the stop at the 46 yard line Boston College will take a timeout that's their first of the half he really got a hold of that one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback the quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play Wants it all, going deep. Finds his receiver who's all alone. He gets hit out of bounds at the three yard line. That's a good for a game of 77 yards. That makes it first and goal. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. for a loss. No game. That brings him second and goal. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Takes a hand up, but brought down before he could go anywhere. Here we go. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Defense stacked in tight here. They'll bring him down at about the five-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Well, 
you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. College is going to have to use their second time out of the half from their own 25 yard line. First down. Feeds it to the back. Nice run to the left there. The Eagles using their third and last time out. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. out to about the 37 yard line when you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that you've got something working Boston College's staff and really this entire team I'm sure is going to rally around this kid yeah it's a tough loss for this team I mean they put so much into this game but one thing about them is they're they're a team and even though their star player had a tough game I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week that's it for this presentation of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Herbstreit I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you soon